okay guys so now we'll get into the problems that we can actually solve using machines okay and the first thing that we need to understand here is what is the classification problem okay because classification problem is something we can solve using a machine now uh, i'll give you a particular scenario okay uh, to explain some of the key terms or key concepts that we have uh, in classification or in general in machine learning so let's say that I have n classes and when I say n classes, it means that I have n different kind of patterns or n different objects. Okay. Uh, let's say that's one, two, three, four till n and a set of patterns or different kind of item for uh, each different kind of item of class one to n is represented here. Okay. So what we have is, uh, let's say for a particular set of features, let me take this particular example. Uh, I have only two classes, for example, now uh, one class is a door. The other class is a window. Okay. And uh, here P1 is my uh, door class and P2 is my uh, window class. Now what P1 here is, is uh, it's for door. So it's both of these. So T1 is set of these two items and uh, T2 is set of this item and this P here is union of both of them that is t is the entire table now the t here this particular table is called as my training set a training set is something from which i will learn okay for example uh, if you are uh, if you have uh, learned let's say uh, detecting uh, what a pencil is i first need to show you pictures or actual uh, pencil five or ten different kind of pencils or the same pencil five different times so you will be able to learn what a pencil is how it looks like how long it is what color it has what particular nib it is how frequently it breaks all those things okay so to learn all those things you need some examples right so that particular example of both kind for uh, to know what a window is and to know what a door is both of those i need a training set and that is the union of both t1 and t2 now what t1 actually is so t1 it's a data item okay or a row which has x features Okay, this X is uh, the dimension. How much, how many features do we have? So what features do we have? We have height, color and material. We have that for both of these uh, different, uh, what do you say here, classes. Okay, so height for a window which we have recorded, it's 4.4 feet. Uh, the color of those windows is blue. I think it's Indian Railways. Uh, material is metal. Okay. Uh, and the two door that we have recorded the data for one is eight feet other is 7.9 feet one of them is black other is brown and both of them is made out of wood okay so this particular thing tells me the label so whenever i say class type you should be knowing this is a label so this particular thing is a window and these two are doors okay so that much should be clear by now okay let's move to the next thing dimensions as i said dimensions is basically how many features do we have uh, in the previous problem we had three uh, in this particular problem uh, or let me just one second i think we can discuss a little bit more on one small topic in the previous slide uh, here yeah so when i said uh, different patterns now here the pattern might not be very clear and that is not necessary for us to understand the machine learning algorithms will definitely get that particular thing a set of patterns okay so t1 is one set of patterns and t2 is another set of patterns now ideally there should be like 100 200 uh, rows of this but if i have to look at something in this i can't see a pattern here but i can see that okay the height is not too much it's okay and it's made out of strong materials okay whereas the pattern in t2 what you can see is that it's 7 and uh, 7.9 and 8 feet okay so these are long uh, black and brown so these are dark colors and wood so they are usually made out of wood or something softer okay so th these are the patterns that you can actually learn from these two so if i say that i have seen something which is uh, let's say 6.9 and it is made out of uh, plastic okay or let's say let's make it easy it's made out of wood it's uh, 6.9 and it has a color let's say uh, brown so what would you say it is it definitely isn't exactly equal to this one, but it is far more different from a window than compared to a tree. Uh, so compared to a door. So it's much uh, closer to a door. It's much similar to a door. Okay. The pattern, the feature pattern 
the diagram definitely i haven't shown you the diagram for these as well so these features that represent that door are similar to other features which represent other doors so this particular thing if i have to put one of these two label i will mark it as a door okay so that particular philosophy which i just used to mark this particular thing as a door is what is called as classification now coming to the dimensions here so dimensions is basically measure of how many features you have okay uh, usually in most of the problems you will have at least 10 to 12 features in some cases you will have up till 40 features but since we are learning we'll just take two features which should be more than enough okay here we have just two features now uh, to show some patterns since here we have comparatively more data than the previous one i can show you what a particular uh feature here is so this particular thing is apple 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 these three are watermelons so what you can see uh, to differentiate between these two i can see that watermelons have a huge number of seeds okay and they are much bigger in radius compared to the apples okay so watermelons are bigger and have more seeds that's what i learned from this okay there's one more line mentioned here classification model m is learned using these training patterns okay so i have learned something using these patterns which i just uh, told you that it has more number of seats and it has bigger radius okay so these patterns which we are talking about i can actually formulate them into something mathematical now definitely these are not or this is not how machines learn but you'll get an idea what a classifier is because we are going to have a huge discussion on that so if i have to look on this particular thing and if i have to make a particular formula so that i can code it in a computer and make a machine myself i did the learning i did the coding okay so right now i don't have a machine learning algorithm but i have my own machine my head i learned a particular pattern and then i will code it so what did i learn from this i have to represent it in terms of f of x okay which tells me the y this is my y and these two patterns uh, these two features are my x so based on these two Uh, let's say x1 and x2 i have to predict y so what i have to learn here is the function f okay so i will just take a guess what should be the function so i have to have two different things so i can make multiple functions out of this so it's not that uh, huge to say but i can make a function which is independent of x i'll say that if uh, if x1 is less than let's say uh, my radius is what Six for Apple, it's five, five point two six. Let's say there might be something which is seven, eight as well, but it'll never be less uh, less than ten. So I'll say if X is less than ten, Apple, else orange. Okay, so using just X one, I can tell uh, whether this thing is there or not. If I want to use X two, I can say that okay, if X two is less than uh, let's say thirty, okay, then it's an Apple, else it's a sorry not an orange it's a watermelon okay so based on each uh, either of those features i can tell here because it's simpler to differentiate a watermelon and a this thing but if i have asked you to differentiate between a horse and a zebra it would have been difficult you can't just say it looking at their faces uh, other if i just reduce their uh, color scheme you will it will be very hard for you to detect differentiate between those two okay or uh, taking a practical example whether a email that you have received is a spam email or not a spam email knowing these things is a bit difficult because you cannot just look at because no email will actually mention that i am a spam so how do you learn what features do you want to learn that would be difficult but here since you just have to understand the pattern this sort of a function which i just mentioned x1 and x2 a function which tells me based on some conditions in x1 what y will be is what a particular model is a model is a mathematical representation a classification model gets all the input x1 x2 and it has to put out a label it has the return for a classification model is one of the labels okay even if i have a radius of 1000 and a seed count of 1 lakh okay i have a alien fruit but even since my machine doesn't know what an alien fruit it just knows apple and watermelon it will say it is comparatively closer to a watermelon so this is a watermelon definitely it's not but it will say that still because it still doesn't know what this particular alien fruit is 
right? Because I haven't taught that particular thing to him right now. So far, he learned only these two things. He can classify things into either apple or watermelon. Okay, given that you can tell the radius and seed count in that particular thing. So that sort of a thing, the function that actually, uh, if I give you these two things, the function that returns me the y, which is the label, is the model that I have learned. What exactly is inside this is dependent on how we have learned that particular thing. Okay. So when we learn uh, classifiers after this, when I say I have learned a classifier, it means that I have learned a model okay, that can take the input and tell me the output. Now, how I learn that particular model is what the classifier tells me. Okay, So classifier is basically an algorithm which learns a particular model, which takes the input and gives me the desired output. Okay, So I hope so far everything is clear. Okay. Uh, just to take an example here, uh, let's say that my model, the f of x1, x2, which I learned was based on both of these. So if x1 is less than uh, 10, my radius is less than 10 and x2 is less than 20, it's apple, else watermelon. Okay, so this is my classifier that I learned. So I will say that the machine is asked, okay, I don't know what this thing is, but it has seven seats, uh, seven centimeter radius, and it has nine seats. What should it be? Seven is less than 10, nine is less than 20. So it falls in this category. So it passes the if condition. So it has something, uh, it has similar pattern to the apples that I have. So I will classify it as a, this one is a apple. Okay, so here I can put it as an apple. So that is, uh, that, that is the sort of problem that classification can solve. If I have huge amount of uh, two different items, let's say I have a record of 100 spam emails and uh, 100 non-spam emails. And when I get a new email, looking at the word pattern in this and the patterns that I have learned from this, I can classify this particular mail as a spam or not. And that is what exactly uh, Gmail does. And because of that, a lot of uh, mails directly go into the spam email. Okay. Uh, there are hundreds of features they are using. They're not using just one or two features, but that is the base concept. They also use the classification algorithm to classify emails that you receive into spams and non-spams. 